Hello everybody, glad to see you again. Welcome to everybody's, uh, not everybody, but the internet's favorite podcast. I'm your host, Miguel Skimming Sage, and welcome to YouTuber Rambles episode 26. It is finally time for me to come back um, and start the daily uploading streak. We're starting from zero, but you know what? Let's pretend the upload streak never ended. So, it's been a while. Uh... I'm pretty sure we skipped a month, or did we upload? No, technically we're not skipping a month because I am uploading this on a March, just not uh, on the first week of March. We are on the last week of March, so let's get it going. I have lots of topics here, including why the fuck I've been gone. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with the YouTube channel. Yes, that's right. For those who don't know, I have a YouTube channel um, on Roblox. I have a Roblox channel now since I stopped uploading here and I'm not gonna lie the videos have been doing well I've also um, re-uploaded some of my old Roblox videos from this main channel over to that channel and it's been doing good I actually got one subscriber it used to have 31 subscribers that channel now it's 32 so that's plus one funny very very funny uh, but yeah um go check it out if you're interested in the pass me the roblox content that i used to do um uh, i plan on uploading there but i in that channel i kind of have a focus on what roblox games i'm gonna play in there for example if you go check the channel right now uh, i'm playing some formula apex it's a racing game on roblox that is based on formula one and I'm also doing Stepford County Railway, where I'm doing some uh, driver, some guarding, some dispatcher. Basically, just a train simulator in Roblox. And if you are, if you don't know what Stepford County Railway is, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's ty- that's like the type of Roblox content I am focusing right now. But I could expand. Like uh, I did one video on that channel about the um, I think it was called Enforcers. It was the newest Rolf game that was based on another Roblox game that was like from 2012 uh, and I did a video about that and actually like the game it's kind of like Call of Duty which it is and again I've said this many times right now but Roblox is just full of uh, Roblox overall the games in there are just copies of existing games that are not on Roblox and I can give you an example for that for example uh, I'm not saying pilot training flight simulator because there's also a lot of other flight simulators, but you know, it could be based off of X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator. And then we can go ahead, I'm checking the homepage right now as we're talking. For example, um, Team Park Tycoon 2, that's clearly based out of a uh, roller coaster tycoon uh, here on Steam. It sucks because you can't really, co- you can't consider Roblox, a- Roblox games are games. But it it's different to PC games, which are which actually have well. I'm not saying Roblox doesn't have graphics, but it does have the blocky characters and shit. But at this point, Roblox can be considered as a game engine. So I guess we are gonna consider all of the Roblox games. We're gonna need to start considering as actual games. Uh, what else do we have here? For example, we have Itty Bitty City. This is an early access game. This is like City Skylines, and then. We also have, um, if I'm correct, Jailbreak isn't really anything, isn't it? No, it's it's somewhat of an original game, even though it's just, uh, you know. And then the, the rhythm games as well. Aim blocks is basically just um, what's the counterpart of this? What was the name? Aim, aim. I forgot that name. The name of the game. That's on my Steam library. I should probably check it. Aim, aim. Aim, aim, it, it's the one, aim labs, there you go, I haven't forgotten about it, right, and then, yeah, I'm just, basically, the point is, uh, we have another here, local official is basically Uno, um, race mod is basically G mod, and so yeah, you get the point, Roblox games are usually just, uh, indirect copies, or somewhat direct copies of existing games, and that's why sometimes, I mean, it's, it's good, if you want it, if you want to experience a game that is paid for free, you can do that on Roblox because there's many games again that copies uh, games indirectly. 
but otherwise just if you have the money just play the goddamn real game support the developers who originally did make that idea not the ones who just copied it on roblox just like what i did when i was trying to recreate only up on roblox and that went horribly wrong so support the original creator even though that was a long time ago wasn't it so we're gonna move on to my hiatus plan so that's right i have an hiatus plan i have it written down in a notepad so this was when I was plant when I was still daily uploading, so I don't know if this is still uh, up to date content. Um, been da I have been daily uploading since August of nine August nineteen twenty twenty three. So that's August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, five, six, seven. That's eight months of me uploading. So apparently I will stop uploading in May four. So that will be eight months and sixteen days of uploading equals two hundred sixty days, and I'll apparently return. You know what? I don't think. This is any good. I mean, the hiatus, right? What, what, this month, this month's hiatus has been pretty good as well. But I have something I have listed. What will I do during my hiatus? Have fun with life, go out, do stuff. Meh, working on mods, maps, games. I don't really want to work on stick guy dice anymore. But if we do reach 500 subscribers, maybe. Um, yeah, I think I think we're gonna put the haters plans for now. I think I might still continue uploading after uh, uh, after May uh, during the summer break. I'll definitely be uploading. Uh, I, I want to change my haters plans. So um, so yeah. So next up we have the channel performance, channel performance, and analytics. Right. So I'm gonna tell to you my analytics because. I don't make money so I'm I'm gonna tell you so the channel has been doing good but this is mostly based out of the YouTube shorts that I've been publishing which is the reason why my channel has been really doing good and while we're currently at as I'm currently recording 469 very nice uh, subscribers and we're on road to 500 and and then uh, 1000 yeah we're on the road and uh, I'm very excited because you know, I really want to get monetized, guys. If not, then this YouTube thing is somewhat of a waste. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna just tell you. So there's been fifteen thousand, fifteen point six thousand people, uh, views, uh, getting in the last apparently twenty eight days. 136 uh, hours of watch time and additional 21 subscribers 75 percent more than the previous 28 days that is very nice and uh, it's it's amazing what you can do with shorts it's re it really is but um, yeah um, shorts is really what's powering but I mean some people who, who use short say that um, users don't watch the long uh, long uh, format uh, videos of other youtubers uh, if you're if you of course if you're a TikTok, for example if if you're a if you are a youtube shorts viewer you will watch someone's shorts would you watch their long form videos 80 percent you probably not not unless you're really interested in the guy and um, you go out and do check out his long form content for me, my long form videos have not been affected in my opinion. In my, my opinion, it has not been affected. It is still normal and it's still getting views as we are currently speaking instead of uh but of course the shorts are on top on the views that it is getting. It's getting around maybe a hundred per day. Uh it depends with the YouTube shorts algorithm uh in that matter. So we're gonna move on now. We're gonna go a little bit to the left. Sorry, to the down under. We're gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna be rating the Drive to Survive episodes today, folks. That's right. If you are not a fan of Formula One, please skip this part of the podcast because I'm gonna rate each one. I'm gonna now write the IMDb of Drive to Survive because uh, I don't really remember the name of the episodes. Uh, so yeah, that's great. 
so we're all six and six we're gonna continue we're, do, we're gonna we're gonna try to do this very very fast so let's go with episode one Lando Norris saying asking Lance if he can wank off yet he, I'm pretty sure he can wank off because um because he can drive a Formula One car uh, overall Aston Martin Fernando Alonso uh, somewhat of a good episode it's episode two Nick DeVries struggling rip that bozo uh, also good under pressure um in my opinion the only funniest thing about I'm pretty sure this is the episode if I'm correct this is the same episode where or is that a different episode I think that is a different episode I don't know but uh it was Ox Oscar Piastri not being able to enter the McLaren headquarters in Woking that was the funniest part yeah but anyway Episode 3, I don't really remember much of it other than that, but it's an okay episode. Uh, episode 4, the battle of the back between the Haas and Williams. I'm just reading what it says in the IMDb. Um, if I'm correct, Haas, it just told the story of what happened with Williams and Haas. And uh, Logan Sargent, you know, with the Williams. And then um, they have Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg back on the Haas after... Of course, we had the disas disastrous Nikita Mazepin. So, next we have Civil War. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the rivalry be between Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly. In my opinion, I am more of a Pierre Gasly fan. I know that sounds a little bit biased, but like, Ocon, man, you need to shut up. I'm, I'm, no, no offense, but you need to fucking shut up. So, that's my opinion. Pierre Gasly, number one. Uh, good episode. Um, the Leap of Fate, it's it's an irony episode because, yes, he did take a like a, a two-year extension with Mercedes, but then the next year, after, and then in that, that was in 2023. In 2023, he took a two-year contract, and then for 2024, he he did the exit, and he moved to Ferrari. That, that That's funny. That's very, very funny. Uh, so yeah, Leap of Faith, episode 6, irony episode, nice. Um, what is episode 7? An investment from Hollywood stars, piles on, is this Miami? I'm sorry, what episode is this? I, I feel like, wait, oh no, you're gonna, you're gonna give me, is this about Otmar? It is. Ah, oh, okay. No, that that makes sense. Oh no no, I see it now. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, um I remember now, yeah, it was a great episode because Otmar got kicked out. Lol. Um but yeah, it is what it is. Uh episode eight for the Ferrari. That's when uh, I'm pretty sure they failed I, I think they did get a podium now did they i don't know um trees a crowd episode nine that's when daniel ricardo come back good episode love you danny Mwah. although um uh, spoilers for this season um he's currently given an ultimatum by helmet marco the uh i appreciate is he the visa cash up rbt i don't fucking know but yeah, he's he's bound to um to get replaced this year, so yeah. Liam lost, maybe let's go. Okay, and then episode 10 red or black that's when um, Ferrari and Mercedes are fighting. I think we all know who won. Let's go, Ferrari! Ferrari, anyways. Um, Singapore, yeah. Oh no, I think episode 8 also featured Singapore, yeah. The only winner, Carlos Sainz. He just went, I'm a smooth operator. I'm gonna get fucking copyrighted. Alright, let's move on to the thoughts of CS2 and its current states. Um, shit, full of cheaters, done. That's it. That's all I can say. Um, return to Valorant? No. But maybe. I said maybe. Not no. Even though I said early, earlier, I said maybe, because look, the Philippine scene in Counter-Strike 2 is dead. 
Okay, there's no more pro players. There's nothing. Dead. Uh, Valorant. Active community. But for me, horrible game. That's my reaction. And now we're gonna move back to F1. We're gonna now we're gonna talk about the Australian Grand Prix. That's when my man, the myth, the legend, Carlos Sainz again wins the Australian Grand Prix. And then you hear I'm a smooth operator. Smooth operator. Sorry for your for sorry for blowing your ears there. Okay, next we are going to Oh, bro, Tato! Yeah, my dad has been addicted to this game. I know. It is what it is. It's just an egg fighting, a roguelite shit. Yes. Yes. My favorite games from Steam Next Fest. Well, um. Honestly, all of those games were pretty good. But we're, we're gonna go through them one by one. Okay. So, first, we're gonna go with. Uh, gatekeeper great game great mechanics love the idea of the game and I understand it very quickly 10 out of 10 Stormgate that's an RTS it's loosely based out of uh, Starcraft 2 and it already has an esports scene as we're talking so that's nice um, 9 out of 10 oh, sorry I'm gonna lower that to 8 cuz I'm not really fan of RTS I suck at RTS my dad is more of an RTS player he, my dad just plays everything he plays FPS he plays RTS he plays MOBA games like MOBA Legends and Dota 2 like he just knows every game you know although I am better than him in Counter-Strike wink wink Coffee Caravan was a great game because it was a mix of um, Overcooked and of course Coffee also like how you can decorate your setup area and where you put the stoves and the tables and stuff and for me that was pretty great um star trucker uh when i did that video it was shit because i didn't know shit so um zero out of ten just play american truck simulator instead uh stellar settlers also pretty good game i love the stacking um mechanic the game is actually out now uh, however I currently have no money and I would have gotten it if my Gcash was still back during the time Steam had its spring sale so was it spring or summer sale I have no idea it was a sale anyways next we have supermarket simulator uh, I've seen clips on it on TikTok it started to get very popular in YouTube as well for me it was an okay experience I'll give that a 7 out of 10. Incursion Red River, great uh, concept, prototype for an FPS game. It was more like a... What do you call this? It's I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, if you're not a Roblox fan, especially with this game, then you, not, you might not know. It's like, it's kind of like Black Hawk... Black Hawk... Uh, what do you that? Black Hawk Rescue Mission 5. Yeah, there you go. That was the level of for It's kind of like that. Where you deploy and then you go bang 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 do the mission bang 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 so yeah unfortunately i died in that game so i'll demote it to a 9 out of 10 so overall those are the games my favorite i have to put it to coffee caravan i love coffee caravan that was a great game very nice just very very nice okay we are gonna go back to we're gonna talk about my ea play in shambles this is the reason i'm gonna now talk about the reason why I actually got um, why I stopped uploading so um, a few in February my phone got stolen which by the way I have it now uh, I did a community post on that if you want to see what my phone uh, the stolen phone you uh, looks like you can check out the community tab so basically uh, my phone is gone. That means my Gcash, the the primary source of the subscription where it gets its money, is uh, gone. So when the subscription expired, which was on March one, um, yeah, it went in shambles. Uh, I couldn't play uh, Need for Speed. I couldn't play F one anymore. It was, I was sad, and I couldn't I couldn't upload because that broke the uh, upload schedule like what am i upload what am i gonna upload on the uh on the day where i'm supposed to be uploading the saboteur you know 
So I just I just stopped uploading and then that's where we got the shambling, you know? So yeah, that's the main reason why but we're gonna talk about the cost of why and that's because of my sm stalling phone and how I got it back um, so we're gonna now talk about how I got my stolen phone back a eh, um, I'm not gonna go into detail because this is an currently an ongoing investigation but basically I'm gonna summarize it up uh, one of my classmates I'm not gonna name who stole the phone okay and then we got in touch with my teacher, my advisor, uh, with the uh, school administration, uh, as well as the parents of said classmates, which I really felt bad for, cause we learned some stuff about my class, the the classmate that took my phone. We learned some pretty deep stuff that I, again I won't be mentioning. Uh, so yeah, um, he's not abnormal or anything. By the way, I just love to say that he's not abnormal. He, he's just it's just him that's just how it is for him so yeah that's the reason how I got my phone back and uh, yeah so that's why for I'm gonna announce it since I have also now recovered my Gcash account EA play has returned that's right I am now back on the EA play grind we now have a subscription which means we can play our favorite games again on this channel, such as the Saboteur, F1, and yada yada yada. So, tomorrow, we're gonna return to daily uploading, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. And then the last topic we're gonna talk about is vertical live streaming. Um, if you don't know, YouTube has rolled out. It's kind of like TikTok Live. Um, except you don't need the requirements in TikTok Live. You just need to have a YouTube channel and also 50 subs okay there's still some stuff there's still a lim uh, a minimum requirements but basically I was thinking of maybe get into this vertical live streaming thing cuz it's kind of like YouTube shorts right you, you scroll up you see someone playing and I think vertical live streaming will give me a chance to maybe get some viewers maybe start up my live streaming uh, career again because the last time that happened I didn't really get any views I think the maximum views I got during a live stream was like 20 25 but that was during uh, when I was broadcasting a major uh, a counter-strike global offensive major that was the last one the RMRs uh, during the Blasta TV uh, Paris major RMRs when I streamed that uh, I got like 30 views but that was because well, I was streaming the major, so yeah. So I, I'm, I'm gonna maybe in the next few days I'll try to live stream vertically. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try to figure that out in OBS and in YouTube. But uh, yeah, so stick around. Uh, and if you're interested in all of the things uh, that I've said, please subscribe. So, so we're gonna start the outro now. Thank you very much for listening to the YouTuber Rambos. We are episode 26, right? That's close enough to episode 30, cause uh, yeah, I've been doing this series for two years now, if I'm correct, or one, one or two years. I don't, I don't really know. So yeah, so I'm still going with the um, every month. I'll have a YouTuber Rambos episode. So stay tuned next month for the next one. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be all from Miguel's Game CH. It's been heck of a month here at March. It is Holy Week, by the way, as I'm currently recording this. It is something something Thursday. Something Holy Thursday. Holy, just let's just call it Holy Thursday. Uh, if you're not Catholic, then don't give a shit. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Miguel's Game Siege, signing off. Goodbye. And you don't seem to understand.